Well, hello there. This is Doc. Welcome. And yeah, today we need to talk about item elevators. Of course, things changed a lot in Minecraft 1.13. And item elevators are now easier than ever, but you can also do some cool tricks, as you can see right there behind me. Oh wow, this is that. A freestanding water pillar elevator. We'll look at that in a second. Oh, let me get my view right. So here is a design I just quickly whipped up, but I think it cannot be any cheaper, of a water elevator you could use, you know, for items, right? Um, if you want to transport items around. Transporting them down, just dropping them is always the best way, but you know, now with the bubble columns and if you use soul sand, we will have a bubble column with an upward draft, obviously. We have super fast and very easy to make item elevators. I mean, you can see the item just go in there and then woof, really shoot up there. So they're really fast now. Super easy, no pistons or anything needed. Uh, what you simply do is you use some ice if you want to, you know, below your water stream where your items come in from your mob farm or whatever you run with it. And you go for eight blocks if you want. You can also go shorter, it doesn't matter. It can be more compact even because you need a sign here to hold a source block of water in, in check here, right? So in all the way up in the water column here, it is obviously water source blocks. Otherwise you won't get a full water column up. And only then the items would float up fast. Of course, you know, you could do it without the soul sand. The items would also flow up, but it would be considerably slower, of course, because you don't have the effect of the soul sand. Yeah, and then you just bring it up and then you guide it over. So here's the last source block. You can see there's still bubbles on top and then things will flow into a hopper or wherever you want to transport your things to. For high capacity, you probably want to use minecarts to pick, hopper minecarts to pick stuff up. But yeah, that's how you set that thing up. Uh, super easy. And I tested it for quite some time with stacks and tons of items and it always worked really fine and fast. So now, a bit of a more fun, maybe not as 100% reliable design, maybe it is, could be. I haven't done like a ton of testing, but um, I'm pretty sure it is fairly reliable, to say the least. So a free standing column here. What is with the weather? Wait, we need to uh, here clear the weather. So it's a bit more bright in here, <laughs> so dark. So yeah, um, let's toss some items in and see how they behave. So they make it into the elevator and they definitely get some sideways momentum. But it is uh, also because items get attracted uh, to each other kind of and there was an item up there and that caused it to gain momentum. But you can see this is not fully reliable. So if you want to make this thing reliable, you would have to slow down. Um, your items there and so on, but in theory it should also be possible if you inject your items properly to have this freestanding um, elevator. Um, this is just a very mere prototype proof of concept that you can do it, you know, and uh, to make it perfect I would have to do some more testing, maybe do some better alignment here, but you know feel free to work off this idea and use it. I'm quickly gonna show you how do you make even these free, you know, water columns or freestanding water columns and yeah it's based on the same trick we used to make the floating sign if you're interested how to do that you can go back to one of the other tutorials i recently released how to make a floating sign in minecraft it's quite fun but it's a kind of a similar trick here so we use extended pistons over the soul sand to form a little shaft where we want to put water source blocks um, all the way up right like this and you can do that as high as you want and um, yeah, create floating water things of all sorts with that um, you know use your imagination you can make for example a floating piece of water with a lily pad in there free floating it's pretty cool all kinds of stuff so yeah you do this and then you simply go ahead and you know remove the power source you attach doesn't have to be redstone blocks best is you do it from top to bottom so you don't get any quasi connectivity but switch stuff and it's of course important that this pillar here is 
either waterlogged, so you could use signs in there or something, or it has the bubbles. So it is not, you know, if it's just a regular water source block, this would not work. So yeah, whoop, this is how you do it. So you just go around, remove that all, and then you made a freestanding water column. By the way, these water column things are also super nice elevators. Probably gonna do a little video about them. I did some testing with that lately. You can make some really cool stuff with that. So yeah, these water column mechanics are definitely interesting. And yeah, now, you know, this is update proof as well and it works to swim in up it in it um, you know up in it so you can also have freestanding elevators for example like that in your base which is really cool like if you walk in there don't do much it pushes you up fairly straight and nice so this is a really nice technique it works in minecraft you know 1.13 in the latest version I would assume, you know, it has to do with um, piston retraction updates um, with uh, sticky pistons. I would assume they would fix that. So if you want to build these things, you probably have to do it in Minecraft 1.13. But if you made them, I'm pretty sure they would not break uh, in later updates. If you, you know, if they fix this, uh, it's a buggy behavior um, with the piston retraction there. But I love that and it's a fun thing to play around with. So yeah, Whee. with that said, it's also potential launch pads, you know. I mean, you could run into that, launch yourself up and maybe go from water pillar to water pillar. Use it as jump pads. You know, use your mind. I, I could just give you the, the theory and the basic idea here. So yeah, that's that. Freestanding water columns, item elevators, all kind of goes hand in hand. Thanks for watching my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I see you in the next one. Bye.